Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for more upcoming DIY future videos. For this DIY, I would like to share with you how I use Dollar Tree baking products to make a homemade professional appearance special occasion cake. If you would like to find out what I created, just continue watching. I already posted a video on my channel on how I made my buttercream frosting using all Dollar Tree ingredients and I'll have that video linked below. And if you're not aware, Dollar Tree does carry all baking products used in this video and if you don't want to make your own buttercream frosting, you may also purchase it online or these following stores. To start off, I'll be using Dollar Tree cake mix and it comes with easy following instructions on the back side. And here are the cake pans I'll be using for this DIY and I cooked three cakes of each size. I spray my cake pans with non-cooking spray. I already filled my cake pans with the cake mix and I stomped it a couple times just to release the air bubbles. For this DIY, I'll be using two Dollar Tree cake trays. I also be using a Lazy Susie spinner that I found at my local Walmart. Next I'll take my cake tray and I'll place it on top of the spinner and then I'll add some homemade frosting in the center and this will keep the cake from sliding around. Once I was done I'll place my first cake layer on top. Next I'll be taking my piping bag and I'll be filling it with my homemade buttercream frosting. Once I twist the top of the bag, I can hold it with my hands or I have the options to hold it in place with a rubber band. And don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms linked below. Next, I cut off a half inch from my piping bag and then I'll start applying my frosting around the edges and this will prevent any filling from falling out. I apply more frosting around the inside and then I use my spatula to spread it around. And for my filling, I'll be using Dollar Tree Crushed Pineapple and all the steps that you see here, I'll be repeating it on the second layer, making it a three layer cake. Once I put my cake together, I'll apply more buttercream on top and I'll give it a crumb coat and this will prevent any crumbs from spreading around. At first, I could not find my cake spread spatula, but this will be the best spatula to spread your cakes. You may also dip your spatula in warm water for an easy spread. And to dye my frosting, I'll be using Leaf Green and Sky Blue to get my turquoise. I'll be starting off with my sky blue and I'll just add a little bit amount. I added a little bit as I went because I needed to get the turquoise color, either a light turquoise or a dark turquoise. And then I added my green. When dyeing your frosting, it will depend all on you on how vibrant you would like your colors to be. I try to get my color as close as I can to this flower bouquet. For an easy cleanup inside my piping bag, I used the ram wrap and all I did was apply frosting in the center and then I closed it up. For piping my designs, I used a D-tip and I placed it inside the piping bag and then I took my frosting pipe bag and cut off the tip and placed it inside. To make my roses out of frosting, all I did was place the tip on the cake, pulled it out and gave it one swirl. And I continued the same steps going all the way around and also on the top. I do realize that I do make it look very easy, but with practice comes perfection. When I first started doing my cake roses, they looked like a truck ran over them. But with time, I started getting the hang of it and it became easier as I went. And if a lot of you have been following me for years, I've been doing cakes for over 10 years, so it comes easy and naturally. What a big difference from doing home decor. This year, I did say I wanted to add some different DIYs into my channel. 
And just for FYI, all the same steps that you see me repeating here on this first cake, I repeated it on the second cake using white buttercream frosting. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot and it also lets me know that you enjoy watching videos like this. Next, I took turquoise candy bowls and I'll be gluing two together and I'll be using three and I'll be using my strongest adhesive and hot glue to glue two together. And this will be for my cake stand displays. Once it was dry and displayed, I'll be using fairy lights. I really do love the way these cakes turned out and the decorations to go with it just completes it all. I only spent $20 to make the cakes including all the decor you see here. With prices continue going up on everything we buy, this is a great way to keep extra money in your pocket. And let's not forget the beautiful lighting they'll bring into that special event to your venue. Not bad for being all Dollar Tree. I forgot to mention that I added edible pearls around the white cake. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this DIY as much as I enjoyed creating it. Now don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and turn on your notification bells for more upcoming future videos. I'll see you on my next DIY upload.